Yeah, hello again to our next episode of U539's Adventures in the North Atlantic. Yes, you have heard right, we have a new U-boat. It's a Type 9 slash 40. Um, after we reached Lorient, after at the end of our last patrol, we have been uh, given a new boat. It's a brand new one. It is uh, commissioned February 1943. Uh, our old trusty U-130 is going to be used as a school boat. We have uh, given the new one and uh, at the same time we have been uh, relocated to the second U-boat flotilla also in Lorient. And we have a new uh, patrol quadrant. It is uh, DH-74, which is... Right about here, which means we can uh, patrol the uh, single merchant routes here. We have also the Sierra Leone Liverpool and Liverpool Sierra Leone convoys, which we can cover if necessary. We also can take uh, action against the convoys going from and to uh, Gibraltar and uh, Alexandria. Yeah, so far the things are not good. We have now the 21st of June and uh, after the Black May 1943, 41 U-boats were sunk in that month. We have um, in June already lost again 17 U-boats for measly 76,000 uh, tons sunk in enemy shipping. So we are going to leave now and uh, yeah, let's see what happens. This uh, patrol will be unedited, which means it's a full patrol. I've decided to do a full patrol for once to show you how long it takes to go out there and get where we want and get uh, to the place where we want. Sorry. And yeah. Jawohl, Herr the playstyle uh, doesn't change, dead is dead, which means if we are sunk by enemy action, the playthrough is over. The only thing I will do is, uh, if the game crashes, I will start from a safe. Because the heavily modded versions of Silent Hunter 3 are prone to crashings. So yeah, that's the only exception of the rule. Other than that, if we are sunk by a uh, ship, airplane or whatever reason else, we Schiff are gesichtet. done. Sieben, sieben. Große Entfernung. So let's start. Yeah, we, as I said before, we have a new U-boat. It's uh, U-539, the original U-539 was uh, commissioned in February 1943. It had a rather uneventful career. One ship sunk, two damaged, and it surrendered in Norway May 1945 and was um, later sunk during Operation Deadlight by the Royal Navy, in which they got rid of uh, quite a number of U-boats. The real U-130 we have used before uh, was already sunk in March 1943 with all hands lost. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Nice view of Lorient. We have uh, the U-boat uh, bunkers here. That's uh, Keroman 1, Keroman 2, Keroman 3. Back there is our starting pit. I am uh, thinking about making a video 
uh, using um, Google Earth about the real Lorient bunkers. Uh, if you're interested, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, there we have a destroyer, one of the few left. Uh, about the... Um, yeah, shut up, hey. Uh, about the U-boat uh, itself, U-539 uh, is a Type 9-40. Um, a little bit historically incorrect is here the place for the snorkel. U-539 uh, was uh, fitted with a snorkel in early 1944, but uh, yeah, that's one of the uh, restrictions of the game, so I run with it. It's not, not really important. We have no snorkel which we can use uh, the only thing I still have uh, in there is the uh, deck gun 10.5 centimeters it uh, was come on turn uh, U-539 was uh, commissioned without a deck gun, it never had one, but uh, I did uh, leave it on. Maybe we can still make use of it, and if not, then we will uh, remove it later on. I've also uh, did the uh, original turret of the U-539, which was at commissioning a Turmumbau 2. Uh, Tom uh, turret variant number two, which already had the bigger winter garden, but not the uh, third installment for the uh, 37 millimeter uh, uh, Marine Flock 42. Yeah, so far, so good. As I said, we have a new boat, and uh, let's hope we can make some use of it. Let's speed the things up a little bit here. Yeah, there we have a dry dock. Nice one. Here are the bunkers. Yep, sunken ship. There were numerous air raids on uh, Lorio during the war. The, the city itself was uh, heavily damaged. There's the entry to Kieromon 2. This was the entry, then they slipped the boat up. And then with a uh, sort of rail systems, they moved the boats to the bunkers. It's a really interesting concept they did there. And as I said before, I'm thinking about making a, a video uh, how that in Lorient worked with the numerous bunkers. So if you're interested, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Yeah, so far, as I said before, the U-boat war has uh, turned in favor of the Allies. The U-boats are being hunted down. Um, what the hell is that? Ah, uh, U-52. Ah, nice. Oh! Look at that, it's a, it's a mousy. Um, that's a U-52 with a magnetic ring, uh, which was used to um, kick off magnetic sea mines. The Royal Air Force did use the same system with older bombers like the Vickers Wellington Mark I, I think. And uh, these guys here, uh, due to their dangerous job, Minensuchgruppe Mausi, you can Google it. 
Um, they were, uh, albeit members of the Luftwaffe, always awarded the Mineseeker badge of the Navy. So yeah, that's uh, a nice touch here. Yeah, there she comes. Schiff gesichtet. Lage 3, 3, 7. Große Entfernung. That's nice. Yeah, as I said before, uh, the U-boat warfare has extremely shifted over to the favor of the Allies. Uh, losses of the U-boats are mounting. Um, at this point, it is already an achievement when a boat makes it back from its first patrol. So, yeah, let's speed up again. There's another U-boat coming back from patrol. Yeah, nice. That could be, I don't know, U-505 if I remember correctly. <laughs> yeah. I like the sound of the of the of the buoys here. They did it really good with that. You have the, the green ones on the left side here somewhere. And then you have the red ones. There's another sunken ship. Well, obviously there was a, a air raid um, when we were out. There's the red one. There's our friend the minesweeper. There's the green one. Ah, oh, there it is. Nice. What's uh, not quite uh, historically realistic is that they still have the lighthouses uh, running. Of course, during wartime, these things were all shut down to not give the enemy a uh, navigational aid to see where the enemy harbors are. Albeit, there's an interesting story to that. Uh, you want uh, 23 on the Captain Lieutenant Harding, which operated in the early stages of Operation Kettle Drum, uh, operated from New York to Cape Hatteras, and he said the coastal line was uh, lit up like in deepest peace times, and he could navigate with the lighthouse, the lightships, and the lights of the cities under peacetime, navi uh, peacetime navigation rules. Uh, yeah. I don't know why they didn't uh, cut the lights, but I think it might have been the same reason why the why the uh, 
Schiff gesichtet. Lage 2, 4, 0, Navy mittlere did. Entfernung. Why the US Navy didn't run the convoys in the early war stage? Because Admiral King, I assume. Okay, now let's go out here, follow our escort. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit more. Not too fast. Might crash otherwise. Yeah, tip. Uh, never save the, the game when you are near the coastline. Keep at least 50 kilometers distance. The same goes for uh, saving when sh uh, other ships are present in your area. If you can see them like this or this, don't save the game. It will corrupt your save files and you can't restart it anymore. Um, yeah, this guy here uh, is our escort. He is our minesweeper. He brings us out through the net barrage here and the net barrage here and the huge minefield around there. Um, thankfully, the game has not implemented all the minefields that were laid by the... Uh, allies especially by the royal air force and the royal navy which cost uh, quite a number of few boats in the in the biscaya on their way out and on their way in oh there's another another u-boat coming that's a minesweeper Where is it? Oh, okay, I forgot the, the game can see through the terrain. That's one of these uh, 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 things. The, the game is hard-coded. You can uh, see the, the ships uh, sometimes through the terrain. Not that it was really important. I mean, we are not a uh, coastal U-boat, so what gives? Okay, let's... Ah, there he is. Oh, nice one. U66 also has made it back, I see. Yeah, the... Sole difference between the uh, Type 9 and the Type 9 uh, slash 40 was that it had a longer range, a little bit faster dive time, and uh, a little bit more uh, in uh, test depth. But that's about it. The uh, main systems are all the same. It's just a little bit uh, stronger hull and uh, uh, turret. And uh, yeah, they uh, put another fuel tank in it. It's a, a bit longer and than a normal size uh, Type 9, but uh, that's about it. In 1943, to be honest, all of the Type 9s were utterly obsolete. They, uh, especially the long range boats like the Type D1 and uh, D2. <coughs> um, I'm sorry, the Type 9, D1, and D2. <coughs> sorry again. Uh, they almost took a minute to get down um, uh, under under the water level. And uh, it's it, these boats here for the uh, for the areas they operated in were utterly obsolete. They should have. Uh, stopped the production by end of 1942 and uh, should have uh, shifted all the production to the type 7 that would have been way more uh, uh, yeah economic for a thing and uh, better in terms of uh, 
organization but these things here were utterly obsolete and the losses mounted especially with the type 9s that's uh, it's unbelievable yeah let's go okay we are out of the harbor let's speed the things a little bit up here and uh when we are here we go uh as speedy as possible because i'm assuming that uh we could be already attacked around here or here because if you look at the at the map here these things here are irrelevant this one and this one and this one that's the irrelevant ones that's the air coverage of 1943 which means we are right here now in the deepest uh, area of air coverage we can find these uh, uh, blank spots here were later covered by the uh, hunter killer groups uh, carrier escorts jeep carriers or whatever they were called with uh, handful of destroyers attached but here the Biscaya and the North Atlantic that's that's the most dangerous place to be now okay let's go oh there's another one leaving okay let's go full and let's get the hell out of here okay yeah also a tip oh, a radio message ah u.s marines have landed on new georgia that's interesting but not important for our mission yeah uh as we speak of tips um if you run a heavily modded version of uh silent hunter 3 never go over 256 time acceleration because if you go up to 512, the enemy ships and aircraft came, come up right in front of you. You have no time to react. You get sunk immediately. Uh, also, if you go up to 512, the game is extremely prone to crashing. As we speak of it, we save it the first time now. Just in case. Yeah, as I said before, the, the game is extremely prone to crashing uh, if you run it on 512 and uh, you don't have any chance to defend yourself against enemy ships or aircraft when you run on 512, you get killed immediately. So, yeah, as you can assume, if you go down here or here, it can take you some hours. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's get into deep water. Another radio message? Ah, okay, we have a new supply ships east of Mauritius. That's for the for the monsoon boats. There she is. That's for the uh, monsoon boats, the few boats which were sent to uh, our Japanese allies. They were stationed, in, uh, I think, first in, in Surabaya, then in Jakarta, or first in Jakarta and later in Penang. I can't remember it. Uh, this action was, uh, yeah, how should I say it? A, a, a waste of time and resources, to be honest. It brought nothing in the in uh, terms of uh, enemy sinking uh, sinking subs or warships or merchant ships. 
it was just a waste of time, material, good man and logistics. Okay, let's see if we can make it out of the Biscaya. Let's go to Highway Fort. Uh, now we are in deep water, now we have no problems. Now we can dive. Oh, weather is bad, that should be good. Oh, we need the guys need to wear some clothing here. Oh, okay, it's not it's obviously not bad enough for 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 the uh, leather jacket. Okay. Badasses. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah. Except one U-boat, all the uh, milk cows uh, are already sunk. U-4463 is the last one. And uh, its time comes in about a week. Flugzeug gesichtet. I knew it. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ah! Oh, crap. Yeah, because Wellington is a radar equipped. Oh yeah, she goes down sweet. Yeah, she goes down fast. Damn, that's nice. Ah, she goes down good. That's uh, uh, quite a good dive time Derzeit compared to our uh, trusty one, uh, 130 we had before. Oh. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Oh yeah, she's going fast. That's a nice one. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Okay. Now let's see if he has picked us up. Yeah, it was the Wickers Wellington. Uh, oh yeah. That was close. Holy crap. Yeah, it was the Wickers Wellington, as I said before, equipped with an anti-ship radar. So, holy crap, that was lucky. No damages, okay. We have been lucky, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see if the guy is still around. Oh yeah, there he is. Does he come again? Yeah, it looks like. At least he is 
searching for us. Nice. Ah. Uh, I think he's going away. Yeah, he's leaving the scene. So let's stay submerged for a few hours and then we are going our way. To be honest, I was I was uh, 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 already assuming we would be attacked around here. Hmm. Okay, let's go to Periscope Depth. Ah, oh, nice weather. That's that's bad. Okay, standby to blow ballast with diesel engines, standby to charge batteries. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> okay, batteries are okay, recharging quite fast. Yeah, it's nice to have a new shiny boat. Oh shit. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Flugzeug gesichtet. And there comes the next one. Holy shit. Yeah, she goes a little bit faster than the, the old the Type 9 we had, so that's at least good to know. Derzeitige Tiefe 2 0. And now let's wait for the drop. Derzeitige Tiefe 3 0.
Derzeitige Tiefe 4, 0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5, 0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6, 0. Oh mein Gott. Yeah, if the rate of aircraft attacks continue this way, we are in a pretty nice ride, to say it polite. Jesus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Ah, there he is. Yeah, looks like he didn't have a uh, clear picture where we are because that's a little bit far away, but uh, uh, of course we appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Same as usual. Stay submerged for the next hours and then continue on our way. Yeah. yeah. The funny times are really over, it seems. Yeah, if necessary, we have the Max Albrecht here. But I think... Yeah, she is until February 1944. And uh, U-463 is about to be sunk in eight days. Yeah. Oh, there's U-488 now. That's good. 26th of April 1944. So we could refuel when we are here. We could refuel there. And yep, that's okay. That's okay. Periscope depth. Ah, oh, Jesus. Nothing up there. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. 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 Hm. hinten, komm auf auf den
Yeah, let's change the crew. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's continue on our voyage. Holy crap. Okay, batteries are recharged. So let's see when the next attack comes. Oh, nice. We had already a few hours without aircraft. That's, uh, that's nice. Okay, let's save the game again. Also, never overwrite the, the, the save files. Always new, uh, use a new one. That could be end in trouble, too, if you overwrite the uh, save game. And continue. Ah, nice. There's the moon. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> sure it is. Okay, let's go. We need to go down there. Yeah, uh, we'll take some time until we the we are down there. So let's go. Two thousand four hundred, three thousand two hundred kilometers. Uh, That's okay. Oh crap, we have fog.
But they still want to uh, uh, don't want to wear the, the leather jackets. Okay, guys, <laughs> if you think so. Fuel is okay. Some shitty weather. Yeah, at least we made it out of the Biscaya. So let's see if we find something uh, where we can shoot at. Uh. Okay, weather is uh, not so bad anymore, which means we should uh, watch extremely out for aircraft again. Ah, crap. I knew it. Yeah, well, at least the man Derzeit don't get rusty. Give some experience and they don't get rusty, but uh, yeah. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Yeah, just assume you are operating on a convoy and you get uh, Attacked by aircraft, let's say three times in eight hours. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Yeah, they just 
need to get you underwater for an hour or two and then you might have lost you might have lost the convoy derzeitige tiefe 50 derzeitige tiefe 60 Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Now let's see if he has uh, a clue where we are. No, it doesn't look like he has picked us up with his radar. Nope. Nothing to see of him, but that stay submerged again. And carry on. Yeah, a bit for more information. I have already chosen uh, before we left Lorient, um, another historical uh, outfit of torpedoes. We have T3s in the front and in the uh, stern tubes. The reserves are also T3s and the external reserves are T1s. But uh, I highly doubt we could use them because if we want to reload the externals, we uh, maybe here on the Cap Verdean, this area here, without aircraft coverage, we could at least try. Okay, periscope depth. Let's have a quick peek. Oh yeah, we have shitty weather again. That's nice. Okay. Surface the boat. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. 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 Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Fertig machen zum Ausblasen mit Diesel. Fertig machen zum Batterieladen. Erste Seewache sich klar machen. Yeah, as I said before, um, standby to blow ballast with diesel means uh, they only used uh, pressurized air for a small amount to get in the positive buoyancy. And when the boat is surfaced, the diesel engine fumes are 
used to blow out the water of the ballast uh, of the main ballast tank and when the bridge watch could see the bubbles coming out under the boat they closed the vents nice system to be honest pretty pretty nice system and then they switched of course the diesels uh, back to uh, the exhaust at the stern of the boat ah, that's nice weather that's very nice weather because crap weather no aircraft okay let's go Batteries are recharged, nice. Also looks like uh, we have a little bit less fuel consumption as with our old 130. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, I love me some bad weather. <laughs> okay, now we can at least make some uh, nautical miles. Yeah, we might could reload if necessary in the Capverdians. I mean our externals. There's no air coverage here, that should be okay. But we must still look out for enemy naval ASW patrols. So yeah, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Nice weather. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Radio message. Oh, O two hundred is uh, sunk. Yeah. That would be then the number 18 this month. Up oh, U four four nine is also under attack. If sunk, that would be number nineteen. Yeah, from this point on, uh, 
we can safely assume the Battle of the Atlantic is lost and everything else after uh, uh, June, July uh, 1943 was just uh, um, slowing down the inevitable. Nice bad weather. That's safe again. Also, when you save the game, always save it in the map area. I had cases uh, when I saved it on the bridge view or on the uh, command uh, center uh, view um, I couldn't restart the save game so always save it in the map and don't save when time acceleration is running okay carry on business as usual Okay, weather is getting better. We need to watch out for airplanes again. Okay, U194 that would be number 20. Uh, U-119, the next one. Oh, man. What? Ship? 083? No, oh, it's a neutral. Yeah, uh, Spanish. But he is uh, following the neutrality rules, properly lit. No armament, so yeah. Not our target this time. I mean, he is Spanish, he is not our target anyways. Let him go. Most likely he goes to either Porto or maybe Vigo up there. Yeah, that's the U-boat life. Uh, days and weeks of bloody boredom, changing with uh, 
minutes and hours of frantic terror. And now we are in the face of bloody boredom. Ah, oh, my spine is killing me today. Damn it. Ah. Okay, let's see. What well, fox I oh nice. Nice. Yeah, at least we are still afloat. That's uh, also almost an achievement at that time. But uh, to be honest, something to shoot at would really be nice now I mean just saying <clears throat> yeah Maybe we should switch the radar on. Yep. Okay. Now let's go. Yeah, that's the radar screen, um, classic German layout, uh, uh, similar systems were used by the Luftwaffe night fighters. Uh, the German Kriegsmarine didn't use PPIs, so yeah, that's it. And when you see a, a ship, you have a spike, then you can read up the, uh, the distance. Albeit this radar set we have right now has uh, about uh, 7,000 uh, meters range. But at that weather that's uh, okay. What they didn't knew at the time was that the Allies uh, could pick up the radar signal, the emissions from the set. They didn't knew that. So we don't know it either. Okay, let's go. Oh. oh man, if my spine doesn't get better, I really need to see a doctor this week. Sucks. Yeah. Nice weather. <laughs> okay, whatever. The TDC wants to have the last word. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
Okay. Nothing out there. Uh, I'll be coming. Usually there should be something in this sector here. The question is just when. Problem is also we are now in the range of the uh, long range bombers of Gibraltar. Uh, number 200 squadron it was, if I remember correctly, which operated uh, Catalinas. So, yeah, this is a really dangerous sector here. But uh, BH-74, that's about here, so slightly out of the air coverage but we must be careful the yeah, end of air coverage should be around here yeah yeah, it takes quite some time to get down here, huh? And now uh, just think about how long it takes to get from Lorient down here. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, some single merchant would be nice now. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, he's going east. Okay, how far is he away? 170 kilometers. Nope. No, nah, I'm not wasting fuel for that. Definitely not uh, wasting fuel for this. Flugzeug gesichtet. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Yes, we speak of it. Yeah, as we speak of it, there they are. This time our friends from the United States Navy. Oh, God. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. That was close. Oh. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Jeez. Ruf beschädigt, Herr Kaloy. I almost das got a heart attack. Yeah, I can't see Der anything. Tiefe, vier, I can't see anything. Derzeitige Tiefe, fünf, null. It looks like we have hull damage. Derzeitige Tiefe, sechs, null. Hmm. 
That's not good. We need to do a test dive when we have reached our patrol area. I want to see how far I can go with the boat. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Yeah. B-24s, uh, they, looks like they're going. Oh no. Did he come back? Oh, holy crap. Yeah, no internal damage, which means we might have suffered hull damage, but uh, we'll see about that. Oh yeah. Holy shit, these guys are really committed to the cause, huh? Wow. The scary thing is uh, the B-24, I mean, uh, these buggers uh, have a really huge payload to drop. Uh, I think uh, it's twice the size of the Wickers Wellington we had uh, ran in before. Like really a buku big ass payload. Oh, there they come again. It looks like that's the United States Navy's version of a carpet bombing, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. And going down like a fighter plane. Yeehaw! And there he comes again, huh? I mean, really, dude, calm down. You're not a dive bomber. Oh. Are we done now? Yeah, it looks like. Holy crap. Oh no, he is coming back. Looks like he's not really satisfied with his work, huh?
Yeah, and now assume you get caught on the surface and uh, you can't go down in uh, fast enough and you get uh, bumped the living shit out and uh, uh, pestered with caliber 50s all over the place. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, we good now? Yeah, and uh, if you ask why, uh, from, from where they are coming, they are coming from here, from the Azores, uh, albeit uh, technically uh, belonging to uh, Portugal. The Allies, uh, yeah, snatched it and put a base on it. Uh, I think they made some 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 deal with the Portuguese government. I, I can't remember exactly, but uh, they put the real uh, air base there, which uh, covered a sizable chunk of the North Atlantic. And uh, German U-boats were up to a bad surprise because they thought, okay, that's a neutral neutral uh, part of, of Portugal. <laughs> Not this time, Kamaran. Okay, let's stay submerged for the next few hours and then... Yeah, they're gone. Okay, and... Oh my, oh my. Periscope depth. to see Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Surface the boat, stand by to blow main ballast with diesel engine, stand by to charge batteries. Oh man. Ay, 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 ay.
Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Yeah, shitty weather, but uh, not shitty enough. Uh, clear skies, so yeah. We should watch out for night attacks. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ah! Yeah, the radar equipped short Sunderland. The radar equipped short Sunderland. Uh huh. Come on, baby, get down. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. That's the fifth aircraft now, I think. Yeah. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Tiefe 5-0. Now let's wait if he drops and uh, if he has a clear picture where we are. Oh man. <laughs> Just, uh, Yep, there he is. But he's not using his searchlight. Yeah, maybe he hasn't picked us up and uh, he's uh, just flying by. Oh no. He is coming back. He just might drop in the wrong uh, uh, vicinity. Still wondering why he is not using his searchlight. Yeah, doesn't look like uh, he. No, he doesn't know where we are. Uh, 
Okay, same procedure as every year. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, really a problem with the aircraft. Uh, Regardless of being attacked or not, they force you uh, to submerge and you have to stay a few hours uh, submerged to avoid being detected again. And yeah, meanwhile, there could be a convoy somewhere here or here and slipping through. Okay, periscope depth. No, that's not the airplane. Thing to see. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. Okay. Let's surface the boat. Yeah, let's see how long it takes until the next guy comes around.
Okay, let's go. Okay, Panther is all recharged, and off we go. Ah, fuel is perfect. Oh, shit. Not good. Not good, not good at all. Ah. There we go. This time they caught us with our pants down. This time we have a problem, it seems. Come on, get down. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Yeah, these two were really close. That's yeah, not good. But these uh, B24s are really bloody fast compared to the short Sunderlands and uh, Wickers Wellingtons of the uh, uh, Royal Air Force. We have to uh, be extremely cautious with these guys. <sighs> Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Ja. Yeah. But at least we can see now why the snorkel was made operational, albeit uh, way too late. There is one, where is the other? Uh, 
Okay. We are here. Now it looks like he's coming back. I mean, the American taxpayer didn't provide them the stuff to drop to carry it home again. Huh? Oh yeah, there he comes. But where is the second guy? Is the second guy looks like he's already gone? Oh, okay. <coughs> yep, and he comes back again. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, looks like we have been lucky once again. I mean, I really do appreciate. Ah, there's the second guy coming. Okay, kind sir, you have your fun now. Go away, please. For a short moment, I thought uh, he would come back and drop again. Yeah. And again, a few hours submerged. Man, 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 that's uh, what was that? The sixth, the sixth aircraft. Oh, looks like the sixth one. 
Holy shit. Periscope depth. Uh, let's have a see. Ah, oh, we have bad weather again. That's quite good. Let's uh, surface the boat again. Große Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. 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 Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Okay, let's continue with our mission. Tja. So far, so good. For 1943, rather an uneventful travel, to be honest. But I might save just now again. E A oops, H four. Save. Continue, just in case. Yeah, now let's see how long it takes until the next guy drops. Oh.
Yeah, detecting radar signals are now are even the small buggers there are uh, radar equipped. Holy crap. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Good, but not good enough. Yeah, that's pretty far away. Nice. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Uh, I switch off my car. Uh, I switch on my coffee maker. Okay, and let's go continue with the mission and stay submerged again for a few hours. Holy crap. Still 1200 kilometers. Okay, periscope depth. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch noch 5. Okay, let's go. Erste Seewache sich klar machen.
Okay, let's see how much we can make until the next aircraft shows up. <sighs> okay, that's uh, of course the best weather for aircraft. Beautiful sight, to be honest. Nice looking boat they have been, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's come on. Something to shoot at. Something. <sighs> Oh crap. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Jesus Christ Almighty, hey, that's unbelievable. But quite realistic. Actually, if they would. Tiefe 3-0. Put in the uh, actual amount of aircraft attacks on U-boats in uh, the months May, uh, June, July. Nobody would play that game because you're permanently alarm diving. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Doesn't look like he is dropping, or maybe he is still coming, huh? Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Wow. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. <lacht> At least the beer is still under my bed. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that's bad weather. Damn it. It's still there. You gotta be kidding me.
Ah, okay. Dropped all his stuff in the first go. Nice, good to know. Holy sh... Okay, same as the last eight times. Stay submerged. But I promise we will make it to our quadrant uh, before Christmas 1943. I really do promise. Jesus Christ almighty. <sighs> yeah, I remember a playthrough I once uh, made for myself way, way before I even thought about uh, YouTube videos. Uh, I own this game since its release 2005 and I played it uh, I don't know how often. Never made it beyond uh, uh, early 1944. But uh, I have to admit uh, I'm this is the only game I always have installed uh, on all my computers since 2005, which were quite a few, uh, uh, quite a lot, uh, to be honest. I always had uh, uh, Silent Hunter installed and uh, what a long time, almost 16 years. This was released two years before YouTube even was a thing. Just think about this. This was released in 2005 and YouTube had his, his first video, I think, in 2007. That's how old this game is and it's uh, still a joy to play, which is to be... Ah, okay, La Spezia has been uh, terminated, yep, and the next one should be Toulon, if I remember correctly. And, yeah, this is a, a Ubisoft game, but it had its problems when it was released, it was uh, uh, minor bugs but this was a Ubisoft game before they invented uh, microtransactions and shitting out the same games every year just with a reskin like uh, Assassin's Creed with connotation on ass and uh, The Division and all these other games as a service as they are called today which are shoved out the door, half finished, but riddled with microtransactions from end to uh, from start to end. Ah. Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. That surfaced the boat. Große Fahrt von raus. Yeah, then they released Silent Hunter 4, which, uh, with all the mistakes and bugs and problems it had, 
uh, through the super mods is still a playable game but then came uh, 2010 silent hunter 5 which was a shit fest of epic proportions when it released i mean like seriously epic proportions that was the worst of all the silent hunter games and uh, then there was nothing they had uh, uh unsuccessful they had an unsuccessful game called uh, silent hunter sick uh, silent hunter online which was basically silent hunter 6 but uh, multiplayer online game which was not successful and they killed it off a few years later and then they concentrated on uh, all their uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Division, uh, uh, I don't know what else, crap games they released the last 15 years. Yeah. And now it's the time of the small independent game developers, no? like the guys from U-Boat or Wolfpack who took up the took up the cause and uh, developed submarine games again. I mean, I tried U-Boat, it's not my cup of tea, but that doesn't mean it is a bad game. It is actually a really good game. It's just a little bit too micromanagement uh, for me, but uh, still, I recommend it. If you're into U-Boats, go get it. Uh, the same goes with Wolfpack. Um, I'm considering buying it next month. Depends on how high the bills, the bill for the for the dentist is uh, next month. But uh, I'm assuming I could buy a three ser a three series BMW for that money. So yeah, let's see if I have the. Uh, 30 bucks left <laughs> I have buy me a pack of Marlboros and a Wolfpack game yeah uh, no but uh, there are um, nice games uh, in the making then were our killerfish games the guys who made uh, this uh, nice little game in uh, with the United States uh, uh, nuclear subs cold water is its name then there is a game in the making uh, about the destroyer. It's uh, sad that they never took up the idea, especially Ubisoft, uh, that they had uh, with uh, Silent Hunter 2. There were, there were two games, Silent Hunter 2 and uh, 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 so-called game destroyer command and they were both compatible which mo which means you could uh, play a destroyer captain in multiplayer and hunt the u-boats uh, it was a good idea it didn't sell very well obviously but uh, it was a nice idea it was a, a, a good idea they should have uh, taken it up for silent hunter 3 and 4 again uh, five uh, I never, I never even touched it. Uh, I saw the, the the videos and the severe bugs and shortcoming it had, and I thought to myself, "Nah, f it." All I would wish, to be honest, all I would wish for is a modern Silent Hunter Five, uh, a modern Silent Hunter Three. Sorry. Uh, with uh, today's graphics and this gameplay this game had in 2005 including all the super mods like uh, uh, GWX, uh, LSH 2015, uh, NYGM and 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 uh, I'm really considering if this gameplay uh, is done because either the war ends or uh, we get uh, killed in action before, which is most likely the case. Uh, I'm starting eventually uh, another gameplay, uh, a playthrough, but this time maybe with another um, uh, super mod. I'm considering uh, uh, Living Silent Hunter 2015 for that. 
and uh, yeah let's see about that but uh, right now we have to survive first Yeah, that could be bad weather exactly as we like it. Let's hope no airplane is showing up. Tja. Yeah, I played, uh, I don't know, I'm almost 56 now and January 26, uh, I have my birthday, I get 56 now, and I played a shitload of games in my time. Holy crap. Including numerous years on EVE Online with uh, numerous accounts. God, that was the most toxic game community I ever was part of it, and I fucking enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, yeah, then you get older and then you do some other games. I love European Truck Simulator, to be honest. I, I really do love it, but uh, I'm almost more into American Truck Simulator because that's the only way I have to ever drive a Kenworth or a Peterbilt or a Mack truck. I mean... They're sadly almost non-existent in Europe because of the, the length regulations of trucks. Uh, just for your information, uh, a regular semi-trailer in the United States has uh, 54 foot. And the complete uh, semi-trailer combination in Europe has 53 foot. Uh, yeah. And I have a huge backlog in Steam. I have 86 games right now on most of them not even touched, like Tomb Raider, uh, Senua's Sacrifice, and uh, so many games to play and so little time. <sighs> Maybe I should stream someday. What do you think, guys? Would you be interested in streaming some games? Let me know in the comments. I have to do something to get the time killed during this uh, pandemic of unknown origin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's bad weather, that's good. Maybe we have luck and can have them a few days with all the aircraft. That would be nice. That's only 820 kilometers to go. Roughly 35 hours, huh? Fuel consumption is uh, okay so far. Yeah, we are on our way but come on guys something to shoot at not the, please no 2000 ton uh, dumpster bucket or, um, but something to shoot at nice tanker ammo ship something like that please Yeah, the last game I bought was uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So far, I'm really loving it. Flying around with my uh, Cessna 172 and uh, looking places. If you want to see something like that, let me also know in the comments. Let's see what we can do about it. Holy crap, it's 6.25 a.m.
Ah, oh, come on. You gotta be. Oh man, these airplanes are a pain in the rear end. Derzeitige Tiefe 2 0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3 0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4 0. Uh, let's see if they drop again or maybe we are lucky Tiefe 5, 0. they haven't seen us. Derzeitige Tiefe 6 0. Yeah. Yeah, looks like they haven't seen us at all. That's good. Yeah, looks like we have been lucky to the extreme. They didn't even drop. Okay. Let's stay submerged and uh, hee -haw. Okay, periscope depth, business as usual. I mean, not that we would really see an airplane that's, uh, let's say, 
at a 5,000 yard distance. <laughs> yeah. But uh, at least we can look if someone is uh, right on top of us. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Vorne oder um 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Prepare to blow main ballast with diesel engine. Stand clear to charge batteries. Erste Seewache sich kann machen. Up we go. Yeah. Okay then, let's go there. Patrol the quadrant for uh, about 24 hours and then let's see where we go next. Okay, we're almost there, only 470 kilometers to go. should be something to shoot at if we are lucky yeah that's the call of the map for the uh, monsoon boats that's the map for the uh, 
type twos in the Black Sea. Mine chart, mines and nets. Uh, that's Lorient, that's two net barrages in the minefield. Ah, here, there we go, the monsoon boats, Jakarta and Penang, where the, the harbors where they were stationed. Then we have uh, signal flags. Ah, come on, hey. Ho, 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 holy crap. Ho, ho. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Wow, another aircraft. What a surprise. What a novel idea. <sighs> Holy crap. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. There he is. Maybe he hasn't seen us. Yeah, let's stay submerged again for a few hours, hopefully, yeah. and uh, continue our way. Yeah, yeah. We are almost there. Almost. Okay, periscope depth, like 
take a quick look all around and let's see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. There's a ship. There are two ships. You gotta be fucking kidding me, eh? Yeah. There they are. North, north, east. Okay. <laughs> Twenty two point five degree north northeast. Ah, shit, right from here. Okay. Yeah, Let's see if we can intercept them. Ships, ships at last. <laughs> uh, let's go. Come on. Yeah, there they are. A small one. And another small one, I think. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's see if they are worth shooting at. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Wait a minute, there's one. Two. Three. Okay, that's a small one. Shit, there's a warship there. Ah. God. Why me? Uh. 
Yeah, this one looks like a, a nice target. Okay. Let's get a range estimate. They are far away. Oh, shit. Yeah, there's no way to get a, a range estimation at that sea. So they are guarding uh, two ships now with a with a destroyer. That's good to know. Holy crap! Speaking of resources, huh? Thirteen kilometers. That's too far away. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Where is he? Come on, where are they? They are gone. In the fog. Ah, shit. Still too far away, we can't get there. Eight thousand meters estimated, but I can't see them. <coughs> yeah. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. That's right. Jawohl, 
Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine okay. Fahrt voraus. They are going too fast, we can't reach them. Yeah, that's not worth it. I can't reach them submerged and uh, they have a destroyer escort. And uh, yeah, the moment I surface the boat, he picks me up and then we're done. That's not worth the crap here. Let's go. That was uh, frustrating. Anyways, let's continue to our target. Okay, battery is recharged, speed is okay, fuel is okay. Yeah, so far so good. There shouldn't be any aircraft out here. Yeah, we are slightly outside of the air coverage here. About uh, here we are. Okay, that's good, that's good. That's safe. Just in case. And let's hope for us uh, 
for something they should have in the best position. Okay, we are almost there. Okay, let's see. Okay, almost there. And patrol it for 24 hours. And then we take a look around here where we are out of the cargo ridge. Maybe here there's a convoy route and single merchants. Nine days at sea. Okay.
FD twenty five nice. PH seventy four uh, done. And then let's have a look about here. Because there should be some traffic, either a convoy or at least single merchants. Yeah. Let's go. Nice crappy weather. At least we are outside the aircraft range. We are right here now. And let's hope there is a convoy which is not too heavily armed, guarded or escorted. Uh, that's... Uh, yeah, playing this game is quite time consuming. For the few bits the are usually then cut and edited into a video. Yeah. Yeah, nice crappy weather.
Ay, 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 ay. Okay. We are complete. No. Let's plot another course down here. And if we don't find anything here, we check out this area here and uh, if there's nothing to shoot at, we check this area here. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that's some nice weather. <coughs> yeah. Let's go. Come on. Jesus Christ. Yep, that's quite some distances we are traveling here. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, but I'm getting real tired. Okay, weather is getting a little bit better. Linear message. Oh, we have our base in Penang now opened. Okay, that's interesting for the monsoon boats. How about that's quite a travel from here to here? <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, beautiful weather. That's quite okay in that area here when we don't have to uh, look out for airplanes.
Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Hm. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Ja, okay, let's see if something shows up, huh? Yeah, basically at this point, the Battle of the Atlantic was uh, uh, more or less uh, over. The Type 9s were mostly re uh, relegated to the uh, South American uh, coast or down the African coast. And the Type 7s were mostly uh, relegated up here and up here from the Norwegian flotillas to attack the Russian convoys. But after the tremendous losses in May 1943, 41 submarines, this area here was completely unopposed to the Allies, which means dozens of enemy convoys came through and built up the stock of allied supplies yeah there's nothing much going on here then go up there Check this area out, and if there's nothing, then we go here and up there. Ay, 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 ay. Eight o'clock, uh huh. Food so far is still okay. Weather is uh, scheiße. Huh. 
Okay. Come on, at least a single merchant would be nice. I mean, we have a full stock of torpedoes. Would be a waste to bring them home again. Yeah, fuel is okay. We have enough fuel for another few thousand kilometers. Nothing going on here. On the other hand, uh, thankfully this game doesn't have uh, the uh, code breakers implemented because uh, at this point they could read uh, every radio message from the Kriegsmarine the Army, the Luftwaffe, the Waffen SS, they could read everything in Bletchley Park. And if they would know that we what we are here, they just would uh, order the convoy to, um, to take another route. Also not implemented in the game is the use of, uh, later when the carrier air groups come, the, the um, the small uh, jeep carriers, they have not implemented the use of uh, magnetic anomaly detectors. Now let's see if there's something up here, and if not, we are going here. Check that area out, there should be some single merchants coming right through the islands here, right here, here and here. Yeah, maybe we can shoot something there, and if not, we go here and... Uh, Take a look at here.
Yeah. The Boredom of U-Boat Warfare, 1943, Color Hmm. Flugzeug gesichtet. What the hell? Where the Where does he come from? Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Derzeitige hell? Tiefe 2-0. We are right here at the Canarian Islands. Oh yeah, okay, we are Derzeitige Tiefe just, uh, just at the border. Yeah, we are just at the border of the air coverage. Damn it. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Holy moly.
Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Yeah, looks like he hasn't even seen us, thank God. Yeah. Oh! There he is. But I won't surface now. Just for the risk of another aircraft. So he has his lucky day today. Okay. Let's stay submerged till 11 and then we are going to surface again. Periscope depth. Let's go. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Surface the boat.
Yeah, okay. Let's go, let's continue. Nothing's going on here. Holy crap. Wow, wow, wow. Not a radio message, okay. Enemy aircraft in area forced to dive continually. Batteries being depleted. Yep. That's how it looks like when you're hunted to death like a rabbit. Another one.
I'm really curious how far we make it in that career, to be honest. Would be a wonder if we make it through the end of the war. Yeah. Oh, crap. Radar signals. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. friends of the US Navy are coming to a visit again. Holy crap. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Yeah, that's quite contrary to the happy times we had all the patrols before. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 
Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. I can hear ah there he comes. Yeah. He had a radar contact. Oh, let's see, is he coming back? Can still hear him. Yep, there he comes again. There he is. Uh Yeah, business as usual, stay submerged for a few hours, get up again, get down again, get up again. Holy crap. I have no clue for what this is in the game. Okay, that's a uh, weather chart. That's for the uh, Kiel uh, Harbor area. For, uh, that's the locations of the uh, flotillas. Hmm. No chance that I can see an airplane. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. 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 Vorne um 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5.
Yeah, let's recharge batteries. There's an island. I must be careful here. That's shallow water. Anything else here? Nope. Ah, weather is. At least the weather is getting better. <sighs> Jesus Christ. lucky Jawohl Herr Kaloin berechne Suchkurs Ja, ist okay. Yeah, so let's see if we find the ship or if the next airplane finds us. Ooh. I 
gotta be killing me again. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Oh, crap. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Yeah. In the beginning we have patrols, we have not encountered one airplane. <laughs> uh, the times are changing. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Up oh, there, they are. Yeah, looks like they haven't even seen us. I mean, uh, the crew gets pretty good in uh, crash diving, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Let's continue.
Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. 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 Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Okay, let's go. Flugzeug gesichtet. Oh crap. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Ja, yeah, that's a chore. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Mm. Oh, there he is.
Yeah, he has no clue where we are. That's good. And usual staying submerged for a few hours. <sighs> yep. Let's have a look. <coughs> yeah, and then we surface the boat again. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, let's recharge the batteries. Oh, another radio message. And, uh, attack by aircraft, stay on surface, hit enemy aircraft, damage, unable to dive. Yep, another one gone. Oh, my.
Not that I would really care. Yeah, nice crappy weather. At least no aircraft then. Okay. Let's go and hope for some shipping. Nothing out there. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, patrol quadrants for the monsoon boats. Then we have here uh, different flotillas. Yeah, it's one time Norway, Bordeaux, France. Back in Norway until the war's end. Resupply info, resupply ships, milk cows. The only thing we are missing are enemy freighters.
June 21st, okay. Gesichtet. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Ah, I'm sorry about that. I'm getting tired. Ah. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Yeah, looks like we made it before he has picked us up. Nice. Okay, let's continue the usual game. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah. What should I say? And the whole patrol, not one convoy reported. That's a sign of, yeah. But most of the boats didn't even make it to the convoys. Or they, do, or they are too far away. Attacked by aircrafts. Forced to crash dive. Lost the contact. And so on and so forth. In addition that in May, uh, 41 boats were sunk in uh, June about 21, which means that's uh, 62 boats. That's about a third of the available U-boats, which means there are not all too many out there right now. Ooh. And it shows. And it shows.
Okay, let's save again just in case. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Oh mein, oh mein.
Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, that's good. The periscope depth. Let's have a look. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, let's continue the voyage until the next airplane shows up. Yeah, he has seen us. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Thank God we have the radar warning device. I'm not sure if we had made it that far Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. without it. Whew. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Oh. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus.
hat coming back. Oops. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. Flugzeug gesichtet. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ah! Ja, this time we couldn't even uh, recharge our batteries uh, full.
Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Tja, this time we couldn't even recharge the uh, batteries to uh, a full level. These aircraft are really annoying. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Coming for another turn as usual. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for the visit. Nobody ever said in the Creeks Marine. Okay, let's go.
Große Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Vorne auf dem 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Okay. Now let's see how long it takes until the next guy shows up. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. I somehow have the strange feeling that this patrol will net us not many sinkings. Somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Ja, I really do think this patrol will not bring us many sinkings, if any at all. Okay, the guys have Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. dropped their crap. Yeah, that's pretty far away.
<sighs> and there we go again. There comes the next one. That should have been it. Okay. Okay. Nothing going on. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Okay, let's continue. Flugzeug gesichtet. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin.
Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Oh, mein, oh, mein, mein. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Was a good one. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Oh. Ja. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Oh, here they come again. Okay, that's too far away, but uh, still pretty precise, huh? Okay, continue the mission. Holy baloney. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Auftauchen. 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 Vorne oben 10, hinten kommen auch auf 5. Erste Seewache sich klar machen.
Okay, let's charge the batteries again and continue on our way. Yeah, the, the crew is really getting good at crash diving, it seems. Holy shit. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Yep, there he is. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I have lost count how many aircraft attacks we already had. It's 
So, let's go. Stay submerged till seven. Okay, let's surface the boat. Yeah, charge the batteries. Oh, come on. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 2-0. <lacht> Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 4-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Ja, yep, that was close, but not close enough. Okay, let's see. Batteries are about uh, 80%. Wow, well, we couldn't we couldn't even uh, stay uh, surfaced for about what was the one and a half hours holy shit okay let's go wow okay I 
Yeah, not that we would see something to begin with. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Große Fahrt voraus. Auftauchen. Auftauchen. Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Volle Fahrt voraus. Yeah, no wonder uh, they uh, tested uh, the diesels back then in, in summer 1943 and made them operational in January 1944 because this will get worse. Yeah, <laughs> just you wait when they call in the killer groups. That will be fun. And that's just the regular air cam, the just the regular air coverage. We haven't had any run in with a, a hunter killer group or a, a Jeep carrier group. U590 damage, unable to dive. Yep, another one. Yeah, so far this patrol is uh, absolutely historically correct. I mean, if you see uh, what measly tonnage in June, that was about 76,000 tons for 21 sunk U-boats. And now we are in July and uh, it's not better. It's from now on, it's just going downhill. Yeah, guys, I will end the uh, video uh, right here because I'm, to be honest, bloody tired and I need a little snack. And uh, yeah, the next time we will continue with our historically correct patrol of uh, our new U-boat, U-539. Okay, then. Until then, see you later. Bye-bye.